Hey, how y'all doing? Welcome to Three Count Commentaries. It's your boy Mongo Slade. So today is just gonna be a little bonus episode. Um, I was thinking about this, and it came to me kind of out of nowhere. But Jay Uso is really a trusted main event talent, like legit, right? Like he's main evented most of the last couple of months of SmackDown has been Jay Uso versus a variety of top guys. You know, and it's just been, he's been knocking it out of the park. He has not had a bad match yet, right? Even the matches against Roman, they were great. Ever since his main event run started, main event Oos has been killing it. So the question then becomes, how the fuck did you put him back in a tag team? How do you, how do you in your right mind put him back in a tag team? So that, that's my question. And I'm stupefied by that. You know, usually when you have a single star that breaks out of the tag team, you don't put them back in the tag team. You know, like, you don't, you don't put Bret Hart back in the Hart Foundation. You don't put Shawn Michaels back into the Rockers. You know, great as they might have been, you don't put Edge back in Edge and Christian. You just, just don't do it. So I don't see how you rightfully put the Usos back together. So they're going to try. <laughs> really? And it's really going to be, a, it's going to be, to me, a big negative, right? It, it'll really, you know, waste all of these months. It's been five months, I believe, of work that they've put into making Jay Uso a star, making Jay Uso a bankable main event guy who can increase business, right? They've had him main event pay-per-views already. I don't understand how you put that guy back in a tag team. How do you put him, how, that's a, such a huge step back you know it's a huge step back and look i'm not, i love the usos i think the usos are an underrated tag team as far as these part when you people talk about oh the revival and you know the young bucks and all these guys and you're kind of like wow we just kind of fuck the usos i know wwe doesn't care about tag teams but the usos had great a great fantastic run you know the bar the shield wyatt family the Dudley, then they wrestled the Dudley Boys too, I believe, or was it the New Age Outlaws? It's one of the two, maybe even both. They've had hella good runs with just about everybody. Maybe, maybe we're done with the Usos. Maybe you know Jimmy needs to do something else. You know, and I'm, and I've been sitting here pondering this. That cage match really kind of just made me say, look, maybe Jimmy needs to do something else. Maybe we need to just let Jay be a, a solo star by himself. Look, I know that he's kind of a, uh, he's a sidekick right now. You know, he's kind of still, he's kind of still growing as a solo act. You know, he's not, at, he's not at that level yet where, you know, he is a world champion or anything like that. Right. But we don't know what his upside could be. His upside could be that one day he's the champion. His upside could be that he's a solid contender for the Intercontinental title. You know, um, but we we don't see this side of him unless Jimmy is injured. Now, you know, Jimmy has been gone for a long time and we've seen how good Jay is. I don't see how we can go back. I don't see how we can go back. So, I mean, so what do you do? Like you, you put them back together, just a few with the Street Profits. I love the Street Profits, but how many how many of those matches can you really get? And what they have, they have they wrestled the Viking Raiders yet? So maybe the Street Profits and the Viking Raiders, uh, maybe Rude and Ziggler. I mean, that's a makeshift tag team. Uh, you know, like what do you really do with the Usos that you haven't already done? Right? Now, this is doing something different with them. This having them as separate for a little while. And I'm not talking permanently break the team up. I'm just saying that we should be looking at the option of. Letting Jay run. You know, he's been on a, he has really stepped up to the plate. Maybe we can see how far he can go. Let's say it burns out. You know, Jimmy or Jimmy flounders and there's nothing for Jimmy to do. You know, we don't know how the hell good Jimmy could be as a solo act. You know, I think that everybody deserves the opportunity to, you know, grow as they can, as much as they can as a, as an independent, you know, they always going to be brothers. They're always going to be together. We will always have the memories of the Usos. But we can look into the idea of maybe sending Jimmy to, to NXT or something. Send him to Raw. You know, they did it with uh, Big E and the New Day. 
you know, they separated those guys so that you could see how, you know, Big E works in an environment by himself. We are seeing how Jay Uso can thrive on his own. You know, as far as cutting promos, you know, he's been good. You know, so I don't I don't know how we put Jay Uso back in the box. And like you might be like, well, well, Jimmy just comes back and they do the bloodline. I want them to do the bloodline with Roman and Usos. And I say, well, yeah, but I I want Jay to be by himself. (laughs) You know, like like that's fun for a little while, but I, I really just want Jay to be by himself. You know, um, now you also may say, we don't know what Jay Uso can really do because he's been paired up with Roman this whole time. And I say, you know what? That's a good point that, you know, he has been paired up with Roman since he went solo, but he's feuded with guys, you know, he's feuded with Roman, you know, him bouncing back and forth while Roman, he did really good as far as, uh, expanding the range of his character, you know, expanding the range of his personality. Where, you know, he's been able to talk and uh, express himself, you know, and be emotional and be intense and be conflicted and be confused. And that's the thing. Like, he, yeah, he's been working with Roman, but he's been, he hasn't been on Roman's level, you know. But two or three shades beneath, Jay is right there. You know, Jay, his performance in the uh, Hell in a Cell match and at Clash of Champions was really good. You know, his stuff has been, his, all of his stuff has been good, you know? So I, I I think it's a waste to put him back in the tag team. That's just my opinion, you know? And I just kind of want to be out there and say, I think it's time to break up the Usos. I think we have enough evidence now over the last several months. Like tag teams have been broken up with less evidence of one of these guys having the ability to go to the next level. You know, um, tag teams have been broken up worse for, uh, you know, because some guys are really, really, really untested when the tag team falls apart. In this instance, Jay Uso has been main eventing shows. It's a step back for him to do to do anything else. I know he's not going to main event shows forever, but to have him, you know, not get any type of reward, any personal reward. Sure, it's satisfying to be a part of a tag team with your brother and to do that and be a Hall of Fame tag team or whatever the case may be. But I know he's got to have individual goals, too. But if you ask him if he wanted to be world champion, he'd be like, hell yeah. You know, if I can get there, hell yeah. But this is the this might be the closest he ever gets, you know, and this run might actually help him, you know, achieve that in one day. I think that he should have a shot. Everybody deserves at least one chance, one good run, one solid, not one good run as champion. That's not what I mean. What I mean is one good run as a contender, you know, it's just so we can see what, what they can do. You know, this wasn't a hardcore Holly situation. You know, hardcore Holly was, was, was in the running to be world champion and people thought that was a fucking joke. And then people still do, you know, it was, Hardcore Holly's really going to beat Brock Lesnar with a full Nelson. Man, if you don't get the fuck out of here, nobody believed that. You know, but people for for a moment in time did have the idea that, man, maybe, maybe what if Jay could win? You know, and of course, Roman's on the super push, so it's not going to happen. But you could create scenarios where Rome, where Jay is a legitimate contender, especially when after Roman loses the belt. You know, you could do almost an evolution thing where where Jay is getting close to winning it. And you can look at, you know, Roman is triple H and Jay is Randy Orton. It could be that kind of situation. And maybe he finally does get it. And then Roman is the one to take it from him. You know, that could be like such beautiful storytelling. That shit could be awesome. You don't need the Usos anymore. You don't. And we need to see what Jake, we need to see what Jimmy can do. We need to see, you know, how he can stand up on his own. You know, it's, it's time. It's time. So let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. Uh, Like this video, share this video, subscribe to the channel. Thank you guys for your time, and I'll talk to you guys later, man. Peace.